Greetings, GISD community. This is Dr. Stuhl with another student spotlight. Today, we're going to be interviewing Mr. Emmanuel Vargas, salutatorian for the class of 2022. Uh, today, we'll just ask Emmanuel a few questions, allow him to speak about his experience as a student here at Gainesville High School. Emmanuel, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? I am great. Thank you. So as we begin to start this off, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I was born here, raised here, grew up here my whole life, been going to school here my whole life. Um, I like to go out and do stuff, hang with my friends. Yeah. Okay. Any brothers, sisters? I have two sisters that both go here, Jasmine Vargas and Karen Vargas. Okay. Yeah. So as a salutatorian, man, you've kind of set the bar high. I know when I delivered your, your yard sign, you've set the bar quite high for your two younger sisters. What grades are they in? Um, freshman and sophomore. Freshman and sophomore. Yes. Okay. Well, speak to us. You're one of, as I've interviewed several students over the last uh, few weeks, you know, you're that anomaly. You're one of our kids that have come all the way up through GISD schools from grades K all the way through senior, correct? Yes. Talk to us. How has that experience been for you? Um, for me, it's definitely been a good experience. Uh, definitely, like, I don't think I would trade it for anything else in the world. I, I feel like it was meant for me. You know? mm -hmm. like, I don't think I don't see myself at a different school. I don't, it's just enjoyable. Good, good. And I'm glad to hear that, you know, because we definitely, our faculty and staff work very, very hard to provide a conducive learning environment for our students. Yeah. Okay, so now we're about 80% done with the school year. You know, uh, I know, you know, I know but that our students are starting to count down yeah. the number of days until number one, graduation. And then, of course, at that point, we, we kind of cast you all out into the re real world. So, as a graduating senior, what are your plans for the fall semester? Fall semester, uh, I plan on attending University of Texas at Arlington and majoring in kinesiology, hoping to be either a physical therapist or sports med, somewhere around there. So with the kines, uh, and you kind of hit, hit on what your career ambitions would be, do you have any interim goals? Of course, you know, becoming do you have any short-term goals as you transition to college? Mm, short-term goals, I mean, just keeping my grades up, internships, you know, anything that will help me. Mm -hmm. Speaking of internships, scholarships, one of the things I've talked to you all about, have you, have you been able to secure many scholarships, or how is, how is that going for you? I have a couple. I'm about to apply to some more. Hopefully I get those. Okay. My biggest piece of advice to you would be apply for as many scholarships as you can. You know, worst case scenario, you don't get the scholarship. Yes. All right. Okay. So being that you've gone through GISD from K through 12, do you feel that the education that you received here in GISD has truly prepared you for college? Um, yeah, I think so. I'm pretty sure I'm ready for college, especially like going through the dual credit program here at the high school. It, it gives you that little like taste. You get the professors with the hybrid classes and then your chance at the online classes at times. Mm -hmm. It's definitely like, it's the step that needs to be taken if you're ready to go to college. Mm -hmm. and, and with college, you said University of Texas at Arlington. Yes. Why, why'd you choose UTA? Uh, UTA was, it was between UT in Austin and UT in Arlington. And I just decided Arlington since I could be close to my family. Absolutely, there's nothing like having that, that support, because I can tell you, you know, having gone through college, there's nothing like family support. It's a different feel when you leave home, but it's a good feeling to know that, you know, you're an hour and a half, two hours away from home, and, you, and mom and dad can get to you at the drop of a dime and vice versa. Yes. Awesome. Okay. So, now that you're at the end of your K-12 career, you know, as we look back, and if there was any bit of advice that you could give, to students that are that are coming up to shoot you know our eighth graders getting ready to transition into high school next year or even our juniors who will be walking in your shoes next year is there any advice that you'd give to students in preparation for their senior years i think uh biggest piece of advice i would say is try your hardest not to procrastinate and just have fun i mean enjoy it while it lasts absolutely procrastination my english teacher used to tell us Procrastination is the thief of time, you know, and, and you're right. You know, you got to have fun, you know, 
And, and one of the things that, that I always preach, especially when I talk to my staff and I'm talking to students as well, you got to have fun doing what you're doing. You know, if you're not having fun and enjoying the journey, then shame on you, yeah. you know. So I'm glad to hear, I'm glad to know and hear that you've had fun along the way, but you continue to, that you, but, but your continued focus is to continue that as you now prepare to transition into post-secondary education. So what, what, what are you going to miss most about, about high school, about GISD? What are you going to miss most? I think just, uh, I want to say like my friends the most, uh, I feel like everyone's just going to. You know, it's, it was fun. Like, I don't think I could have gone through with a different class. It was, yeah, it was, it was fun. It was enjoyable. Awesome. Really good group, I must say. And, you know, in your class, you know, has a very, very special place in my heart because, do you know why? Why? All right. Do you know how many years I've been superintendent of schools here? Um, I think you started my freshman year. Your freshman year, correct. Your graduating class is my first class that I've seen come through from freshman all the way through high school. And so, you know, I can only imagine how full of emotion I'm going to be at graduation, being that, you know, I've seen you all come in as, as bright eyed freshmen and to see you all leave as young men and young ladies that are destined to do great things in this world. That's super exciting to me. You know, I tell people I'm I'm a proud papa when I talk about my kids. I got thirty one hundred kids that I truly treat as if they were my own and I want to see you have nothing but continued success moving forward. All right. So, um, now let's refocus back on college. college. What are you looking forward to most in college? Uh, definitely just the taste of independence, adulthood, you know, getting, getting to learn and progress through life and build my own like family and start making my own money. I understand. Yeah. I understand. It's a process, but I mean, I'm I'm ready for it. I'm excited. So when you look back as a freshman at GHS, what advice would you give yourself? Second part to that question is, what is something you wish you would have known or done differently? I think advice I would have given to myself would have been something to, yeah, don't wait last minute to do any of your work, especially the long papers. Yeah. So it's not a good idea. Definitely plan those out. Um, anything I, I don't think I would have done anything different. I mean, I enjoyed it. Well, that, that says a lot about your educational journey and, and again, your preparation for this day. Then, and of course, it has shown. And, and as now you stand before us as a salutatorian of the class of 2022. Um, Emmanuel, I, I just want to say congratulations. I've told you congratulations when I dropped off your, your yard sign, but I also want to tell you congratulations again. This is a soup. This is a major, major accomplishment in your academic career. And like I said, you've set the bar high for, for your two siblings to follow. Uh, I've been very, very impressed in the time I've gotten to work with you and interact with you. Very impressive. And I know that you'll do nothing but great things at the University of Texas at Arlington. Go forth, do great things, and continue to represent us in a first-class fashion. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, Leopard Community, Emmanuel Vargas, Class of 2022 Salutatorian.